Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Taylor Grant. I'm with Bellator Claims Resolution. You can find us at bellatorclaims.com. What we do is we help property owners, commercial, industrial, school districts, municipalities, fight the insurance company when they're not being treated fairly. Like if you've been delayed or denied on a claim or you've been diminished, meaning they've underpaid your claim, you would contact us and we could see what we could do to help you, bellatorclaims.com. But right now, I'm here, and you know why, I'm here to talk about the denial of the day. All right, so today's comes to us from Allison of Longmont, Colorado. The adjuster proceeds to tell me that there was not even a hailstorm in this area in the last three years. The closest one was 15 miles away, yet proceeded to write a damage estimate and approve payment for hail damage to my siding and gutters. Okay, so this is the deal. Insurance companies love doing that. Well, you know what? There was a little hail damage here. It was, it's, it's very small, but it looks like it hit the siding. I could see some spatter marks. It looks like it might have hit the gutters and the downspouts, which is like $800, and I know your deductible is 1000 so sorry. And P.S., that $15,000 thing on top of your property called your roof, magically, it did not get hit at all with hail. What? Really? Yeah, that's what they're saying, okay? I see it time and time again. To appease you, the policyholder, they say, oh yeah, there was a little damage here. Let's go ahead and see what, how much it, oh, you know what? It's below your deductible, sorry. And then the roof, which is probably one of the most important parts of your structure, okay? That does so many different things for you, they're not gonna pay for it. You know why? Because it's the most expensive. And then once they admit that there's hail damage on the roof, that opens up and unravels a whole wide array and variety of things that we can do to get that claim paid for. These insurance companies are starting to not pay even more, pay even fewer claims, okay, to rightful policyholders that are due this money. I'm seeing it more and more. And I want to talk about something else later too. Maybe it'll make this video, maybe it won't. So. It was clear to me that my and my contractor, this adjuster had no idea what he's talking about and is merely reaching for denial reasons, okay? This is not me saying this, this is Allison, okay? I have attempted to contact insurance company's home office to resolve and now they've only passed me around customer service reps and managers who attempted to deflect and tell me my roof is just old or has moss on it. The point is, there is cover damage and the insurance company is refusing to honor the policy I bought in good faith. I like Allison, I like what she's saying here. I have left voicemails for adjusters I've dealt with so far and haven't heard back yet. This is BS, this is when you need to get somebody involved. When you're communicating with the insurance company and they're not communicating back with you, there's a problem and you need to have somebody get involved that can push them back and make sure you're getting the money you are owed, okay? The inspecting adjuster even went as far as making the claim closed when I made it clear in person that this is not closed and I do not agree and refuse to sign his inspection, there's still no resolution. Ah, this pains me, but Allison's very smart. When you buy an insurance policy, you're buying it knowing, supposedly knowing that the insurance company is going to pay the claim for legitimate damage that's covered in the policy when it occurs. In Colorado, we deal with hail all the time. There's a lot of different states that deal with it too, but this is the deal. If your insurance company isn't paying, a legitimate claim because some BS reason you want to contact us and you want to contact us sooner than later okay bellatorclaims.com the sooner you contact us the better we can look at the policy look at the damage figure out the coverage analysis and then push back on the insurance company and say hey we're not sure why you aren't paying this claim which is pretty much every argument that I make on a daily basis right there's obvious and legitimate damage which is covered under the policy. This is a replacement cost policy or sometimes an ACV policy or actual cash. We can talk about that later, but ultimately, if you're a property owner and your property's fairly new, you wanna have replacement cost coverage, okay? But this is the deal. What I'm seeing, and I'm gonna talk about this in a different video too, but what I'm seeing a lot lately is these insurance companies, multi-billion dollar for-profit corporations, okay, are pushing people to what's called appraisal. Now we do appraisals as well, but this is the deal. Appraisal now all of a sudden costs you money up front and on an hourly basis, and it costs the insurance company money too, but guess what? Multi-billion dollar corporation, property owner, right? As far as money in their bank, the multi-billion dollar corporation is gonna win almost every single time. 
999 million a lot of time. Like, right? Just vast majority of the time, these for-profit corporations have way more money in their coffers than you do and can fight that fight longer and can pay more money to do whatever they need to to fight your claim, okay? But this is the deal. I've seen on $15,000 claims where they've brought in two engineers. That's six, $8,000. That's 50% or more of what the claim should have been paid, but these insurance companies aren't paying it. Why not? I don't know. Think about it. They're for-profit corporations. The more they pay you, the less they keep, okay? So if you're getting treated unfairly, you've been delayed, you've been denied, you've been diminished, which means underpaid, contact us today, bellatorclaims.com.